Well, I'm over here at my buddy Todd's, the founder, creator, and uh, financier of F-10,000. And when we started building F-10,000, we realized that we're going to have to make some of our own parts. And so Todd bought himself a lathe and a mill. And they're both three-phase, but we don't have three-phase in this shop here. So he got a VFD, a variable frequency drive. Just one of them, and it is running both machines, but not at the same time. We didn't want to have to unplug one and plug the other one in, because um, then you'd have to unplug the switches, and it would be very complicated. And So this is what I came up with. Here's your switch where you choose one or the other. Middle is off on both. And then in here... We've got this double set of contactors here, which I think was either for reversing or the two-speed. I don't remember if it was for a dual-speed lathe or what it was, or to reverse a motor or something. I'm, I don't remember. But anyways, they're bridged together in the back. And then uh, this set of wires goes to the lathe. This set of wires goes over here to the mill. You contact or you power one or the other, and they're mechanically separated so you can't turn them both on at the same time and that's what this switch here does. Um, it also feeds the on start stop switches on both these machines and these are just your typical three wire start stop. Stop is normally closed and start is normally open and those run these relays and these relays run the VFD start and stop modes and you can't run 120 volts into the VFD for control so it has its own power supply so that's why we needed these relays um, we needed that to both power the these contactors and the switches and isolate the start and stop buttons so that you can't start it or stop it with a machine that's not selected so we only had this double pull double throw uh, center off position switch um, probably could have done it differently if we had a three or four position double throw switch, but this is what we had and made do with, with what we've got here. So um, here's the main, whoops, here's the main power coming in, which is just 240 volt, um, single phase obviously, and then that feeds down through here up into the input on the VFD, and then the output from that, like I said, feeds these. Um, we also tie off one of these legs for the 120 volt is the fuse for the 120 volt to run those relays and uh, so that's one way that you can operate two machines on one vfd it's not legal you didn't hear it from me it will not pass any of your local codes i'm sure um, but it works and i'm confident in it <clears throat> i don't think you're ever gonna hurt anything <clears throat> and then i have the <clears throat> I also have the those contactors set up so if you're in the middle off position and neither one of those contactors are closed, it also is sending the stop signal to the VFD. So if you accidentally bump that or if something happens and you just flip that switch, uh, just opening up the circuit for a VFD is not good. You can burn it out. And so I'm, I've got it basically hooked up so it also stops it at the same time. So... In case you need to stop it uh, and you can't push the buttons for whatever reason um, hopefully you won't burn out the VFD that way so there you go so mr. Nate you can tell me how I, how I did on that it's creative um, it works but uh, you didn't hear it from me so don't do it yourself all right thanks guys Uh, make it choose, Daddy. Business now.